Welcome back guys to another episode of the Aston Villa crew mode. It is your Friday dose of Aston Villa goodness. Hope you guys are all doing well. Now last episode was a big one. You can see some of the results on there. Premier League wins, Champions League wins and a Champions League defeat but we'll, we'll ignore that one. But today we got some more big big games for you. We're going to start off with an away game against Chelsea who are above us in the Premier League. Then a Carabao Cup away at Liverpool, which should be very tough. I was hoping we could maybe get some easier opponents, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And then finally, we, well, we're going to sim the West Brom game. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to beat West Brom. And then finally, the second, well, the second time we'll be playing Zagreb, uh, this time away in the Champions League. We need the wins after the two defeats that we started off the group stage with. So guys, stay tuned for all of those great games. And as always, guys, subscribe if you enjoy the videos and you like the channel and like the video as well if you enjoy this one. But enough wiffle waffle. Enough wiffle waffle. Let's jump into this first game against Chelsea and let's see if we can get another win. So these are the games we want to be playing at the top of the table. If we want to be mixing it with these guys. These are the types of games that we have to compete in and really win. And these are the types of games that CR7 himself is the one that crops up, gets those important goals. So hopefully he can do that this time around. He did it for us last time out against Zagreb. When we needed him, he scored the hat-trick. So hopefully this time around again, he can bag some goals and score against Chelsea. No, no, no. That is an early goal. I don't know who, who scored that. Who was that? It's Di Maria. What is Di Maria doing playing for Chelsea? We've gone behind. It was good play by them. Probably not so good defending from us. Uh, we haven't gone behind the last couple of games. So we'll have to see what this team is feeling like. Oh, Rafinha's got all this space out here. Ronaldo's coming into the box. Oh, oh, it's Eve Basuma though. Ronaldo was making the run into the box. I was trying to pick him out. But Eve Basuma, who was in the box too, pokes his toe at it. Past the Chelsea goalkeeper. Come on, you lad. Eve Basuma scored against Fulham. We'll have a look at this on the replay. Ronaldo made a great run. But look at that. He got in front of... I don't know who that defender was, but he did really, really well to get in front of him. And we equalised as soon as we concede. What a fantastic goal. It's back to one all. Oh, what a block. What a block from the defenders. We got, we got, uh, we got eased out there. No, oh, Ronaldo made his run too early. We weren't able to feed him, but that was a good little bit of play from the breakaway. But this Chelsea, this is looking like a very end-to-end -end game. And uh, both teams look likely to score. Oh, Rafinha, finish it. Oh, he missed and he's offside. What? That was a double whammy of terrible, terrible play from Rafinha. We work the ball well. Whoever's at left back keeps coming in uh, in short. <clears throat> oh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, no. What fantastic play from Cristiano. Oh, but he just couldn't put a, a finishing touch to it. Oh, that was disgusting play. <sighs> Halftime whistle goes and that Ronaldo miss. Oh, it was disgusting, the little the little fake shot. Uh, completely sold the defender, but he just couldn't bend it in. But since we've gone behind and then we got the equaliser, we've been much the better team. Uh, so I can't complain too much about that. It looks like maybe, finally, we've uh, managed to shake the, uh, the poor form we had at the beginning of the season. And we really look to be playing well now. Ollie. With the strength. Has he got the finish? Oh, no. He does not have the finish. Oh, he was too he was too busy trying to fight off his defender to forget about the finish. And he dragged it well, well wide. Oh, Rafinha. He's got into a great position here. Oh, no. I meant to play it back to Ronaldo. How did it go so far back? Oh, my days. Oh my god, come on Rafinha. He's been in so many good positions today. He just hasn't made Chelsea pay. Oh, there goes the full-time whistle. Such a tight game. We possibly could have nicked it towards the end there. But I think a draw is a fair result after all of that. It was a very tough game. Yeah, you could argue we possibly maybe deserve more from that. But Chelsea were a very good team. They've got some very good players. So I'll take a draw. We take the draw. We take the one point and we'll move on to the next game. 
So we have a Carabao Cup game next up away at Anfield against a very strong Liverpool team. We made a number of changes. I said at the beginning of the season, maybe we wanted silverware from a cup, maybe, but... Playing teams like Liverpool this early in the competition is not a good one. We've rotated a loads of, load of people. Also bringing in young 62 rated Roman at uh, right back. Who I'm sure is going to be in for a very, very tough game uh, against Sadio Mane. Oh, good save. We're being peppered here early on by this Liverpool team. Curtis Jones is starting for us. Playing against his former team. Uh, ooh, it's just gone over. We were very lucky there. But yeah, this Liverpool team have started very well. You know, they're out for the win. Jurgen Klopp's told them they're facing a weakened team. Uh, so not to make a mess of it and uh, focus. And that's exactly how they've started the game. No! Oh, great save. Kalinic comes back out to Robertson. Oh, what a fantastic save. Martinez has... Come in clutch the last couple of games with some big saves. And now it's Kalinic's turn. Oh, now the defender's coming in strong. No. Oh, he's offside. No, surely. Surely he was offside there. What am I missing? Who was that deep? Oh, I think we just dropped at the wrong time. Oh, and after some great defending, Sadio Mane puts them 1-0 up. No, no. We got done there. We got done. I think that's Diego Aspas who came on. No, it's not. It's Jordan Henderson. Oh, we got done. We got ruined. Look at this from play from Salah. It's just... Look at that pass. Oh, man. Oh, we're heading out of the cup. I didn't want to head out of the cup this early. Why have we faced such a hard team in the first... In, like, what, the second round or the third round? Oh, Jack Grealish. Come on, you can finish this. Come on! He gets one back. Big goal. Come on, this game isn't over. We're still here. We can still stay in this game. Jack Grealish with a nice little, look at that, nice little reverse ball from Ollie Watkins. Trent was nowhere to be seen. His defending called into question yet again. And it goes 2-1. No, no, no. How are we going to let Mo Salah just do that? Oh, no. Fabinho has just come on. Plays the ball into him. Tyrone stepped in thinking Mo Salah was going to pop the ball off to Fabinho. He didn't. And then he just had a free shot on target. Ah. Oh. The full-time whistle is gone. And yet again, we're out of the Carabao Cup. It's never been a competition that I've, I think I've ever won. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Have I ever won it in any of my career mode series? Is it's just a competition that I really just don't favour. And, uh, you know, it might, maybe it will do us a bit of a solid going out of it. Focus on the competitions that we do want to win this season. But, yeah. Liverpool were just too good for us that time. Maybe if we had our full starting team, maybe we could have done a bit better. But, yeah, they were just too good for us. So, let's go into the next game and let's see how it goes. West Brom are 19th in the league. So, I don't see any reason why we should waste our time playing. Because you guys know in the next game is the Champions League game against Dynamo Zagreb that we all want to play. And that's the game we want to play and watch. So hopefully we pick up the three points nice and easy here against West Brom. Guys, I'm going to do something which I may regret, but we're going to jump to result and see if we can get the win. Oh, I finished nil-nil. Really? Really? We couldn't beat West Brom who are 19th in the league? Come on, Sim. Oh my God, but... How did that happen? How did that happen? All right, let's go into the next game, though. It is the game we all want to see. That's that second game in the group stages against Dinamo Zagreb. We need the win. We need the win. So let's see if we can get it. So let's get it going. We have had to make a number of changes because apparently that game against West Brom tired the hell out of everybody. Uh, so we've had to make a couple of changes. Matt Target coming into the team. Bertrand Traore as well. But this is the game where Ronaldo stepped up. Uh, we're going to need him again to step up because uh, this is probably our only guaranteed win. Uh, the rest of the games are going to be very tough and tight. Oh, Ronaldo. Is Dinamo Zagreb the team he loves to play? Yes, it is. He gets another goal in the seventh minute. Hey, this is the team. This is the team he loves playing against. A nice little one-two with Ollie Watkins. That relationship is definitely growing between the two of them. Look at that nice little runoff. And then calmly finishes it there at the near post. Come on, 1-0 early goal. That's exactly what we want to see. 
No, no. Oh, what a save. Oh, what kind of noises came out of my mouth then? <laughs> As we get a great save. Oh, my God. Emmy. What a save, you lad. Just before half time as well. Going behind then wouldn't have been good for the team and the morale. Oh, there is half time. What a save. What a save. I've criticized him early in the season for some of his performances. But in this episode and in the last episode as well, he's been absolutely solid. No, he's made a good run. Come on, Emmy Martinez. Oh, he couldn't do anything about it that time. Oh, Matt Target, who's coming for Synchroven today, was out, got caught out of position there. I think it's Castrati, I think it was. Look at this, he got in behind. And then Emmy Martinez stood absolutely no chance with that. Is one all equalized last time. But last time we were able to come out victorious to see if we can do the same again this time. No! Oh my god. They were passing the ball around well. And maybe some of the fatigue in the team is showing now. We've had to take Douglas Luiz off. He was puffing. Oh my god. How are we 2-1 behind? We beat this team 4-1 at home. Coming out here to Croatia has not been the one. Uh, they've been very, very compact here in the second half, Zagreb. Way more than they've ever been in any of the any of the games we played uh, against them before. And, uh, yeah, looks like we've got a bit of a job to do. Oh, referee, that's a penalty, surely. 87th minute. And it was a little mazy run there, just trying to work an angle. I think it was Ollie Watkins. And that means the big man... Oh, no, it was Jack Grealish on a mazy little run there. Uh, I think we're going to have to give this one to CR7, I'm afraid. Come on. Come on. Yes! Come on! In the back of your net. Two all. Still got about five minutes or so, so maybe we could nick a win here. It'll be huge. But a draw is at least the minimum of what we need. We can't be losing this game. But a big penalty there from Ronaldo. 88th minute. Players going crazy. But the job isn't done. The job isn't done. It's only two all. Come on. We've still got possibly time to get the winner. Oh, no. It's the end of the game. Come on. Don't give it away now. Don't give it away now. Oh, what a block. I think that was Matt Target. What a block. We'll have a look at this again. Oh, that was going in as well. We couldn't ask for more from him. Come on. Final corner. Let's escape from here with, with a draw. I do clears it. That should be it now. Oh, man. I thought about possibly the win, but ultimately, in the end, I am happy to take a draw with an 88th minute penalty from your boy Ronnie CR7. Oh, we probably shouldn't have lost that game. Means the games against Marseille and Bayern, they were huge anyway, but they're going to be even bigger this time round. So, guys, there we have it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a very uh, upsy downy, up and down one. And we got a game against Leicester City, who's currently sit fourth in the table, a place that we want. So, we want to see if we can catch up with Leicester. And then we'll have some couple games in the Premier League as we go into end of November, December, where we focus solely on the Premier League and we've got the final games of the Champions League coming up too so guys you know you don't want to miss any of that stuff so make sure you subscribe and if you enjoyed this video as well make sure you drop a like and I'll catch you guys on the next one